Let's talk business. This is how we're moving yours forward. Standard Bank, moving forward. Johannesburg. This is the Real Economy Report. ESCOM's 49M campaign has made significant progress since its inception in 2011, with hotel and gaming group Togo Sun recently becoming the 120th blue chip company to join the initiative. Liandi Colva has the story. The 49M campaign is aimed at making energy efficiency a national culture. Through this initiative, South Africans are encouraged to take the environment into consideration while simultaneously assisting in protecting the country's security of electricity supply. 49M spokesperson Andrew Ettinger explains how the initiative has grown since its launch two years ago. It's seen a great growth. Uh, we have at the moment 119. In fact, after today's signing ceremony with uh, Tsukha Sun, we have 120 blue chip companies who've signed on and pledged that within their own facilities and within their own staff, they will promote energy efficiency and go through a calendar of events with us, which involves a variety of activities aimed at heightening awareness around how to save electricity and the importance of it, and also to bring that message forward to their customers. And in the case of a hotel, for example, that would be the patrons who stay at a hotel. So vitally important that we get that behavioral change and awareness going and once again get all South Africans and the, the visitors to our country uh, to be energy efficient uh, for the good of all. Soho Sun recently became the 120th blue chip company to join 49M. The group has an existing environmental strategy in place across its 90 hotels and 14 casinos that has already seen a 3% reduction in energy use during the course of this year. However, through the 49M pledge, the group has committed itself to a further 10% reduction in energy use. Soho Sun Chief Marketing Officer Rob Collins discusses the group's commitment. We're doing everything in our power to conserve and save energy. We've uh, budgeted and uh, strategically decided that we are going to save at least 10% in terms of consumption. We're well on track to achieving that. Um, and a group our size, it's a no small uh, mean feat. The reality is we've got to do it via the operational sides, changing the old big energy consuming light bulbs into LED more efficient uh, light bulbs, changing the old geyser element uh, heated uh, water. We have obviously have thousands of hotel rooms and moving to a heat pump which is far more uh, efficient. And then ultimately it's really a case of once we've got the operational and the logistics right is to get the mindset of the staff, our patrons, and we've got a huge staff complement, 18 or 1,000 staff, as well as uh, uh, all of our clients. And the areas, because we're so community-centric, we're using even the glamorous ladies like the Miss Earth ladies to go and talk and preach, become ambassadors of energy-saving consumption in the townships and uh, the schools around uh, our hotels and in the cities in which we operate. Other news making headlines this week, BRICS business leaders want the formation of a development bank to be accelerated. Transport MEC Ishmael Vadi unveils the 25-year Gauteng transport plan and property fund Emira's turnaround plans result in a 3.5% distribution growth. Business leaders from Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, known collectively as BRICS, who participated in the recent inaugural meeting of the BRICS Business Council in Johannesburg, have appealed to their respective governments to accelerate the formation of the BRICS-led development bank. There is clearly a lot of potential within BRICS and as business you should take advantage of the opportunities. I therefore urge you to optimally utilize this platform to consider and advance key issues in the following sector within the BRICS economies, infrastructure, mining and minerals beneficiation, the service sector, manufacturing, energy, and financial services, among others. 
Gauteng Roads and Transport MEC Dr. Ishmael Vadi recently unveiled the province's proposed 25-year integrated transport master plan set to guide the Gauteng government in its transport development and planning. Geographically, we are a very small province. We have huge population inflow. In the last 10 years, our population has increased by 2 million people. And the current pattern of development is, no, is not sustainable. So that's the first key thing. That we're going to have to densify. We're going to have to fill in the current vacant spots within the urban core. And we're going to have to look at multi-story buildings. JSE-listed Emira Property Fund has reported distribution growth of 3.5% for the financial year ended June 30, achieving a noteworthy turnaround from last year's decline in distributions. So in two years, we have more than halved our vacancies. And if there's one thing that uh, we would like you guys to take away from the results, it's the fact that vacancies have been seriously addressed. We've talked historically about the infrastructure that we've put in place within Amira to get our vacancies lower, and I believe that that infrastructure and that effort has now borne fruit. Distributions to share to our investors. We have managed to grow that by 3.5%, and I recall last year we showed a decline of 2.5%. So this, in our opinion, is a substantial turnaround from last year. That's Crema Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insight into South Africa's real economy.